Greetings Prime Models, David here today to take us through a flow yoga sequence. We're basing the flow on warrior two. So that's a lot of hip opening at the front, stretching through the inner thighs and groin, and a lot of butt strength work too, which is great for us. But first, we're gonna come back onto the mat. So join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and just start breathing. We're gonna sit cross-legged first. A couple of breaths, sit naturally. Build up a long spine, naturally long, and then just close down the eyes. Let's start the breath. So just an awareness around about the nostrils to breathe in and out. Breathing in and out. And start developing your ujjayi breathing, that breath of victory, by tightening up the throat, the glottis muscle. The inhale is audible, as is the exhale, soft snore. And that ocean sound. Breathing wide into the chest, deep into the belly. And start to set the tone for the practice, honoring our bodies, just being present to what's happening within the four corners of our mat. Everything else, everything that's off the mat is off the table. Now peel open the eyes. Let's do some easy stretches, bringing the soles of the feet together naturally. So whatever that is, if the knees are up here, that's fine. Otherwise, come a little closer and just gently let the knees fall down. Take the hands back. And do a few little flutters. When we go through our warrior two, we've got a lot of wide-legged um, abductor stretches. So lots of inner thigh stretches here. And then come to a stop. Keep your right hand behind you, left hand to your toes, inhale to lift, exhale, natural twist, just whatever's there. I can hear my voice hasn't changed, just nice and easy twisting around. Inhale to the middle, exhale, we'll go to the other side. Make sure that you stay really tall here and just revolve, breathe. Back to the middle. And now we're gonna go into child's pose. So we're turn to one side. Be really heavy on the mat. Big toes to touch, knees as far apart as you like, and just let yourself come on down. Reset the breath. Refocus your intention and your attention to within the four corners of the mat. And let's start walking fingers forward to lift up the forearms. Push into your fingerprints, point the elbows towards the ground. And draw your shoulder blades away from your ears, down towards your waist. And have a quick side bend here, so inhale, lift the head, and as you exhale, walk over to your right side, side bend. Boom. Inhale, back to the center, left side, side bend. Go back to the middle, good breath in, exhale, shift your weight forward, knees under hips, hands come back under shoulders, a couple of cat and cow, so exhale, round the back. Inhale, hollow the back, leading with your heart and keeping your neck in line with the rest of your spine. No kinks. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Third time, last time. Exhale. And inhale. And come to a flat back. Tuck the toes as you inhale. Exhale, lifting to downward facing dog. Take steps back. Walk on the spot. You're allowed to sway here. You're encouraged to come forward and back if you wish. Do whatever feels right. I'm gonna lift up one leg. So I'm just gonna open the hip up a little bit. And I keep rolling the armpit down so my armpits are square to the mat. Lift that knee up. Other side, if you're following me, lift open. And down. Then let's walk forward into ragdoll. Please take your time, feet are hip width. Soften the knees so the ribs rest on the thighs nice and secure. The hip go, cup opposite elbows if that feels right, and you may start to sway if you wish. Last two breaths here. And then find stillness. Let the knuckles come to the floor. Shift a tiny bit more weight into your toes, keeping the heels on the ground. And then, keeping ribs attached to thighs, can you lift your sit bones higher? Ooh, feel that stretch right up through the calves, hamstrings. I've got it definitely in the muscles and not in my joints here. I really feel that. I love that. Those are my challenge areas, right? Calves and hamstrings for me. 
What are yours? We'll readdress them today. Unlock the knees. Exhale. As you inhale, slowly walk your hands up your body to stand. So we're going to begin our warrior to flow with sun aim. So big toes to touch at the top of your mat. Big breath in. Reach up. Lift out of the waist. As you exhale, we're swan diving down. Pull the fingers back so you get a forearm stretch. And then coat your body with your body. Inhale, hands to shins, flat back, with the elbows turned in, pointing back. Heart shines ahead of the toes. Legs flat. Ardha Uttanasana we are. One more breath in. As you exhale, hands to the mat, step back, high plank, knees or toes, push the mat away, and then spread your collarbones. You feel energy racing forward and back, up and down, in all directions, equal currents of energy. One more breath in, shift the weight forward a bit. As you exhale, we're coming down and holding in the low plank, shoulder to elbow depth. Let's see if we can. Come on down and hover. Nice, stay here, push into the ground with everything you've got. Lift your belly. One more big breath in. Exhale, come down. Easy baby cobra, flatten the feet. Push into the feet to lift your chest. And then lift the hands, wrist rolls. Spirit fingers, jazz hands, maybe a few neck rolls. Hands come back down, breathe in. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Bend your knees to look forward. Step to the front, half lift. And forward fold. Now into our flow, big breath in, reach, reach, reach. A tiny opportunity for a back bend. Hands stay in front of the chin, arms in front of the chin. Tilt a little bit and lift the chest, big breath in. And as you exhale, diving down. Inhale for chair pose. So we're gonna sweep into Utkatasana. Turn the thumbs out, settle the shoulder blades and sink deeply into your chair. And if you can, try and pull the ribs in a little bit. Or if you're a person who kind of hunches a lot, you might need to lift them a bit. Feel long from ear or crown all the way to tail and reach strongly. On your next inhale, hands to heart center, lengthen the chest. Lengthen the spine, pushing your chest into your thumbs. And as you exhale, you're twisting to your right. So left elbow towards right. After you land your twist, make sure that the hips are even and the knees are even too. So you might need to pull the left hip back. It'll feel like you're deepening your twist and that's a counter twist in your twist. So we're going into warrior two from here. This might be a, a transition you know well, it might be one you've never done before. Start by looking down at your left foot, peel the left heel up. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, we're stepping wide to warrior two. Bend your right knee, you can step the feet out, arrange as you need, and reach the arms. So I've got a stretch coming from groin all the way out, and I'm squeezing my back body, that's back muscles also, but can we come down a bit? So take a breath in, lift the shoulders. As you exhale, lower the shoulders and come out deeper into your hips. Ooh, feels nice. I keep pressing into all 10 toes. My feet feel strong, my legs feel strong. Everything's supporting everything else the whole time. Coming into an extended side angle, Uttita Parasvakanasana. So we reach, land, barely land, right? Light landing. And then the arm sweeps down to remind us to turn and lift the chest. Now, if this feels too much, you can always be up a little bit higher, working on turning your chest. So there's a, there's a level for everybody here. You could also come down to the floor, but I'm gonna stay up here for this round. One more big breath in and out. And then a reverse warrior. So hand to thigh, stay deep within your hips and legs. Lift up a little or lift up a lot. Stay in your legs though. That heat is definitely there. <laughs> One more big breath in and out. And your inhale, lifting up, cartwheeling, land, and go through your flow. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, I'm coming to up dog this time, thighs are lifted. And then exhale back to downward facing. Going directly to the other side, we've got to step in into our fold. So I step or hop, half lift, fold, chair pose, sweep, sink. This is still a slow round, so we get that time to heat up the body, to feel what the body's doing today, to appreciate our bodies. Hands to heart center. Press the chest into the thumbs to lengthen the spine. And let's add that twist. 
So right elbow to left thigh. Remember, create your counter twist here. And then as well, by pulling the right knee and hip back, it will help you to lengthen and rotate. Abdominal muscles are in really strong for your twist. I think they do it automatically, but give them a little extra squeeze. And then coming into warrior two, inhale, looking down to the toes, lift the right heel, exhale, step to two, nice and wide. Sinking down nice and deep. We've got heel and instep in line. We've got a strong back body that you can see this time. We'll come down deep into the hips. Just enough for the heat to percolate. Extended side angle, inhale, exhale. And this time we'll sweep the arm down again just to turn the chest. Mm. Can you feel the muscles? And when that sensation bubbles up, when it's tempting to give it in to the present, can you be a little bit above the present, just focusing on the breath, observant of the present? Coming into reverse warrior, stay deep, inhale, reach up, reach back, exhale, stay in the pose. Every exhale is a chance to deepen. Last breath in and out. And inhale, begin to lift. Exhale, go through your flow. And back. Bend the knees, look forward, step or hop. Let's add on to it. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, twisting to your right. Inhale, lifting the left heel. Exhale, stepping warrior two. Arrange the feet deep through the hips. Inhale, exhale, extended. Stay here. And this time I didn't sweep my arm around. I just lifted it up because I've got that chest turning exactly as I want. Then I'm gonna try to draw the shoulder blades down, revolve a bit more, and then reach. Strong, strong. You can lift up a little bit more for this. Otherwise, come down deeper with me. It's pretty hot in here. Not even hot yoga. One more big breath in, stay for the exhale, then reverse the warrior, in breath, exhale, let's go through the flow, and back, bend, look, step, hop, half lift, forward fold, chair pose, twisting to the left, Squeeze all that air out. Inhale, begin to lift the right. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reaching. Exhale, revolving. And then pushing into your back toes a little bit more. Begin for the reach. Add more twist, add more depth if you can. Come along, reaching up, pushing down. All that energy. One more big breath in and out. Then reverse. Oh, blessed relief. Exhale, cartwheel through. And back. Bend the knees up forward, step or hop. Half lift. Forward fold. Chair pose. We add some wonderful pauses in this time. Exhale, twisting to your right. Inhale, peel up left heel. Exhale, open to warrior two. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale. And then either staying here or reaching a little bit more with me. Revolve, lower, reach. Breath in, breath out. One more breath in. Triangle breath out. So shin, hand, then lengthen. Try to flatten through the sides. And you can hop this foot in at the back if you need a little bit more. <sighs> Love this triangle shape. We're going to stay here a bit longer. I'm taking top arm, wrapping it around the back, and I might do a little bit of a half bind. So taking hand to thigh, and then I draw the shoulder blades down and turn the heart. Wonderful inner thigh stretch here. Just love it. I'm going to come in a tiny bit closer, just to heel toe at the back. Feet are slipping a little bit. It's okay. And now coming into 
a challenging bind. So soften the knee, unwrap the arm, come into eagle pose, left on top of right. So the lift a step and the left goes on top of the right. You can have toes down, single wrap or double wrap. Move the thigh tissue, the muscles out of the way and sink down. Arms open as you inhale. Then as you exhale, right arm on top of left, either give yourself a hug or find your bind here, hands together. Now I'm doing a straight back eagle, so eagle in ascension. I bend my knees a little bit, and for that upper back stretch, also strengthen, I lift my elbows. Wonderful opening for the shoulders at the back. Last breath, in and out. Inhale, lift a little. As you exhale, unwrap and step back. Reverse warrior. Ooh. And coming through to Vashistasana, so I cartwheel down, left hand on the mat, turn and step into side plank. You may have a knee or both knees down. Just take in your side plank. Reach the arm overhead if you can, flare the ribs to the ceiling. Maybe you even lift the top leg. One more big breath in. Exhale, let's go through the flow. And back. Step or hop to the front. Half lift. Forward fold. Chair pose, our last flow. In breath. Exhale, twisting to the left. Inhale, lifting right heel. Exhale, warrior two, last time. Inhale, the reach. Exhale, revolve, then lower through the hips a bit. Get ready to be your strong side plank self. This is really a side plank. Lift and open. Coming into triangle, hand to shin, and extend and open. Heel to the back foot in if your foot has slipped out a little bit. Let's go into that bind if you did last time, so that's arm down the back. And if you can, take hand to thigh. A little pinch. And catch your breath. We want to have very little weight on the left fingers, the left hand, the left shin, just enough to keep us balanced. Ooh, you can hear the heart beating probably, you can hear my heart beating probably through the video. You definitely hear my breathing. Coming into Garandasana, eagle, I bend the knee, unwrap, and then lift up, right comes over, I might stumble, that's okay. I actually did stumble. Give it a little squeeze. Arms reach to T. We've got right on the bottom, left on top. Squeeze the legs together. Bend through your knees. The spine stays straight. So we're looking kind of ahead past our, our wrists. And inhale, lift the elbows. Exhale, sink the shoulders down. You could bend your knees a bit more too. Stay here with active actively binding legs. So I want to point my right toes and squeeze almost like I'm pushing my knees apart from one another. They've crossed the midline and they're moving in opposite directions. One more breath in and out. Let's open up, reverse warrior. Step, reach. And exhale, coming into Vashistasana. Come down, open up. Where were you last time? Were you here? Were you here, here, here? Or maybe here? Lift everything, two breaths with me. Come on, we can do this. Push your fingers into the ground. And let's go through the flow. Oh, relief. And back. Bend your knees to look forward. Step or hop to the front. Have a seat. Well done, us. Now let's come down for a couple of back bends. Coming into Setu Bandhasana, bridge pose. So I inhale, lift. Exhale, rolling down. I've got abdominals engaged. Coming down, slowly and shakily to the mat. Oh. So first, your bridge. Bring the heels closer to the butt so the pelvis actually tilts backwards. Your back should be quite flat here. Palms down or up. I'm going to have palms up just to stretch the shoulders a bit more. Inhale. And as you exhale, peel up slowly. Eyes closed so that you can focus on the feel of rolling through your spine. So we're lifting up high onto the shoulders. Then if you want to, you can do any version of this you like. I'm going to clasp hands underneath. Try and go onto my triceps. So I'm off of my uh, shoulder blades. 
and I want to keep pressing the heart up so now it's a real thoracic back bend as opposed to here which is more of a hip extension I'm going to lift the chest you can hear the difference in my voice as I lift the chest down then I'm going to take each leg up for two breaths so I push my pinky fingers to the floor inhale exhale two breaths now reach into the ceiling other side to the ground, unbind, untuck, I'm going to roll down, try to stay still with me here, just acknowledge the sweat, acknowledge the effort, acknowledge the heat, the muscles, acknowledge all those wonderful things that exist that are part of you, you can sit the next back bend out, or you can follow me into either Setu Bandhasana, or I'm going to go into full wheel, if you don't normally do full wheel, you should probably stop and watch and decide if it's for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. You don't have to do it ever. Either way, we bring the heels close and either you're peeling up into bridge or coming with me. I take hands under shoulders. I want to draw my elbows in and then I press through my feet and lift onto the crown of my head. I rearrange my hands slightly and I pull my elbows together, squeezing my chest to do that. I lift and then I try and push my chest forward as I come through. I've got five breaths here. I'm pushing into all ten toes. This is anything but lazy. And a wonderful ab stretch too. Last one. Slowly coming down whatever version you've done. All the way down with all the pops that need to happen, bring the soles of the feet together, we'll rest in Supta Baddha Konasana for a breath. Okay, three breaths. You can wriggle your fingers, roll through your wrists. And bring knees to chest, lift your head, do a few rocks and rolls up and down. So if you want to roll up into a seated position, you may. Otherwise, I'm going to go through one more vinyasa. I think I have enough room. So I cross my ankles and hold my feet. And then I'm going to roll over and shoot back. Inhale. Almost off the table. Exhale. And then come to have a seat at the front, a little hop or a step. Coming into our brief restore section. If you do want a longer restorative stretch, you can go ahead and choose one of the other videos that specializes in the restore. I untuck the butt for Pashi Muttanasana, soften the knees, and I'm going through this really slowly. So my first bit of Pashi is to stay here in this stick, because it's actually Dandasana. I lift up and I flatten my legs as much as I can. You'll see my heels are lifted and the toes are pulled back. Then I relax the, the dorsiflexion of my feet, just kind of let my feet go soft to bend my knees, and I breathe in. As I exhale, I'm bringing hands forward and trying to keep my spine straight as I lean forward. Now we want to feel good here. So as I start to straighten my legs, if it doesn't feel good, you come back to a bent knee position. I keep the belly scooped in the whole time because the lower back will get a stretch too. So I'm going to go a little bit further. Oh. Then keeping your heart lifted, reach towards the toes or prop up somewhere on your shins. Your choice whether or not you stay here or you pull back or maybe you go a bit further. I'm going to try to pull my toes back more and send my heart forward. My lower back is going to round but I want to keep this feeling of shining the heart past the toes. Come with me if you like. I have this wonderful calf stretch here. I have calves more than, more than hamstrings here. My tight areas are calves more than anything else. More than anything. It's quiet, the breath. Do feel free to modify as needed for you to feel the stretch that you're after.
Inhale, lift the chest a little. Exhale, walk hands back. Inhale, lift up out of the way. So we're doing a counter pose. Purvottanasana. So we take hands back. Fingers towards feet or fingers point outside, whatever's best for your shoulders. And lifting into your tabletop. Straight legs, bent legs, or mix. Remember to really lift up out of the shoulders. Lead with the heart and keep the belly pulled in so we still have our bandhas pulled in tight. One more breath. Coming all the way down. Some back work, also a wonderful front of shoulder release. And we're going to come into an inner thigh stretch, kind of tying things back up to where we started. So bring feet together. Feel free to um, shift the legs, shift around. Maybe you need to sit on a block for this, or a roll-up blanket, or a cushion. And let's just stretch the inner thighs. So a gentle press out. Inhale to lift. And exhale, tipping forward with a straight back. So I'm taking the center of my chest to the woodwork in front of my toes. One more big breath in. Exhale, feel free to fold deeper, rounding your back if that feels right for you. Abs are lifted either way. Inhale, rolling up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Let's come into a seated twist. So, I take the left leg out and bring your right leg across. This is half Lord of the Fishes, Adamatsi Andarasana. You can stay with one leg long with the toes pulled back, or maybe you want to bend the knee, shift it around, and come in a little closer. Whatever you choose, make sure that both feet are pushing into the ground. So for me, I would need to pull this in to make sure both toes are on the ground. And then the muscles that I just stretched, I use to pull the knee into me. So I'm gonna feel that I'm really pulling into myself. That means that when I go into the actual twist, inhaling up, exhaling, and the, re the revolving comes so easily. We've done this before on one of my other videos, but I'm going to take hand to foot. So I'm staying in my twist and I grab the outside of the foot. This is the right foot for you. And I lift and I open and twist. Just two breaths here. Keep the chest lifted. Keep rolling up the spine. And then we will change the twist. So I come in, I bend my knee a little bit. I take my hand behind me. And then I'm going to reach to you, open and take the leg to the side a bit more. I might piece finger the toes for that. So I want to be lifted through the spine and the leg can be straight or not. It is totally up to you. And slowly bringing it in. Let's go to the other side with the twist first. So remember, straight leg or bent leg, adjust what needs to be adjusted, come all the way in, try to activate inner thighs to pull the knee towards you so you can feel the top knee coming into your chest and the bottom knee going away, the full bound feel of the pose. It feels so, so good to twist from that conscientious bind and twist. We need to that foothold now. So we take the foot, lift. Remember the leg is bent or straight, but the spine is always straight. Reach up to emphasize that length and then reach back to emphasize your twist. And swap in. So come in. Piece fingers I did last time, adjust my seat a little bit. And then I take it to the side. Mm. 
Last breath in. And exhale. Feel free to have an extended relaxation after this, or if you want to make the class longer, you can always cue up one of the other film clips in yoga, or maybe you'd like to do a, uh, just a stretchy Pilates, who knows? I thank you so much for coming and working with me today for exploring Warrior Two, dwelling within the four corners of the mat, and being present, because that's the real yoga. So the light in me honors the light in you, and I finish up by saying namaste, namaste. I see you.